Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, it has been a beautiful afternoon now transitioning into a beautiful evening here in Sheffield, but I got to let you know right off the bat that the weather is not going to stay this nice through the week. Specifically Wednesday is when everything goes downhill. The wind will start ramping up tomorrow, but Wednesday, even before the storms get here, we can see gusts over 40 miles per hour. So when we're outlining these severe risks for you, high wind is at the top of the list. Within the strong to severe storms, severe storms specifically, we're going to see gusts here possibly over 70 miles per hour. There's also that risk for spin up tornadoes within the squall line and the risk for flooding. We're talking a quick one to two inches of rain as all this is rolling through. This is what it looks like right now, though. You'll see those thin high cirrus clouds all across North Alabama. Temperatures low to mid 60s, really lovely views on the Way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network. Nothing showing up on the radar. Way 31 Storm Tracker early morning radar now we're giving us that quiet picture right now I expect to for the most part to keep that quiet picture through tonight you'll look at the wider view here and you'll see a little bit of activity up in the Midwest but there's no rain really impacting us tonight aside from the very slight chance for a stray shower. There's no even real listed chance for precipitation overnight tonight. I'm calling it a 10% chance for a sprinkle by very early tomorrow morning with the passage of a warm front. That warm front, look at what it does for our temperatures. The wind shifts tomorrow. It's out of the south, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Highs in the upper 70s, it's about 10 degrees above average, but mostly cloudy for Tuesday. Just looking at the wind gust through tomorrow, taking you through lunchtime, you'll see that we're already gusting close to 20 miles per hour by by eight o'clock, but this is just the tip of the iceberg when we're talking about high wind because of course we've got the strong wind before the storms get here. The storms themselves can be packing. Let me reiterate wind over 70 miles an hour. The outlined risk for severe weather on Wednesday is higher farther to the southwest. That's that area highlighted in red. It's a level three out of five on the scale from the Storm Prediction Center. Most of North Alabama falls into the level two out of five. That does include the I-65 corridor and the risk drops farther toward the east because we do see that these storms will likely be weakening as the night goes on and we lose the impact from, of course, daytime heating and things of that nature. Not as much energy for those storms to work with. Here's the arrival times for you from start to finish from west to east. For the shoals, the storms rolling in between 6 and 9 o'clock along the I-65 corridor. Athens, Decatur, Huntsville, storms arriving between 8 and 10 o'clock and then from 10 to midnight across northeast Alabama. Some of the latest data that I'm looking at here we're probably leaning on the earlier side of those arrival times and you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. But I got to show you how the clouds move in tonight, how they stick around for tomorrow. There's that 10% chance for a stray sprinkle late tonight, early tomorrow. The rest of your Tuesday is dry, but remaining mostly cloudy. That's the view stopped at noon now all the way to nine o'clock tomorrow night. Still mostly cloudy, no different Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday starts dry. The wind picks up through the day and look at what we've got crossing the state line out of Mississippi by five o'clock Wednesday evening. That's the reason why I say that we're leaning towards the earlier side of those arrival times right now. Storms blasting through the shoals through that time period by 10 o'clock. They're already east of I-65 getting ready to move into northeast Alabama. One thing that you'll notice here is there's not a lot of activity ahead of the line, so we're not really expecting at least this particular data source. A lot of that prefrontal singular storm activity, those supercells that can produce tornadoes, damaging wind and hail. Instead, this becomes that more so of a risk for spin up tornadoes embedded within the line and then damaging straight line wind by one o'clock Thursday morning. All of that is finally out of here. And by Thursday 3 a.m., it's well east into Georgia. Seven day forecast shows that 100 percent chance for storms on Wednesday. Temperatures the next couple of days, let me remind you, it's warm. It's t-shirt and short kind of weather. 78 degrees tomorrow, 80 degrees Wednesday. The drop comes behind that cold front highs Thursday in the mid 60s. Meantime, we're still tracking that severe risk for you and providing you updates as we go through the next 24 to 48 hours. Dan, Marie.